Our top focus at this hour, Japan has found a new coronavirus variant among travelers coming in from Brazil. The new strain was detected among four travelers from Brazil's Amazonas state. All four have been quarantined at the Tokyo airport for now. The three travelers have been showing symptoms, while one is asymptomatic right now, and experts have said that the variant from Brazil is different from the one that emerged in the United Kingdom and South Africa, as there is no proof to show that it is highly infectious as of now. However, this new strain shares a common mutation with the UK and South Africa variants. Meanwhile, studies are underway to determine the efficacy of vaccines against the new strain. In addition, a latest poll has now shown that 80% of the Japanese want the Tokyo Olympics to be cancelled or delayed as COVID-19 cases continue to rise. In fact, last Thursday, Japan declared a state of emergency in Tokyo. This came after the Japanese capital reported a record high of more than 2,400 daily cases. However, residents feel that restrictions should be imposed on more areas to stem the spread of COVID-19. The world's biggest multi-sports event was postponed last year due to the pandemic and it is being scheduled again to be held from July 23rd to August 8th this year. Our correspondent Grace Lee joins us live from Tokyo for more on this story. Grace, thanks for joining us on this broadcast. Let's begin by talking about this new variant. In a startling discovery, a new variant of coronavirus has been found among travelers arriving in Japan from Brazil. So tell us, what do we know so far, at least about the measures taken at the airport with respect to this new variant? Well, as you mentioned, four people have been found with this new variant. And what experts say is evidence that the coronavirus is still evolving. Now, uh, a few people had coughs, headaches, and uh, certain sinus symptoms that we do see in COVID-19. Uh, however, one person, a younger person, was asymptomatic, as you mentioned. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, according to experts, they've discovered 12 mutations within this new variant. And one of those mutations is shared with the variant that we've seen in South Africa and the UK. So there is a high chance that this variant will also be contagious uh, because we have seen that the new variants in those places have been the cause of rapid spreads of COVID-19 in recent weeks. So Japan is on high alert. Mm -hmm. Brazilian authorities have also asked Japanese authorities to share any further information that they have on this. Uh, it's not clear exactly what kinds of steps that they'll take in Brazil to further uh, prevent the spread of covid COVID-19 of this particular variant. But in Japan, we are under a state of emergency for Tokyo, at least. Right. Most travel, uh, most countries have been cut off due to a travel restriction. Mm -hmm. So we will hopefully see that the variant will not further spread in Japan. Right. That brings me to my next question. We also are getting reports of an emergency being imposed in some parts of Japan. So tell us more about the same. Well, Osaka, Kyoto, and some Kansai regions have requested that they go under a state of emergency as well, just about a week after Tokyo has gone into a state of emergency with some of its neighboring, neighboring prefectures. They made that request on Saturday so far. Prime Minister Yoshida mm -hmm. Suga has simply said that he needs more time to mull this over and to discuss with experts. And that has not made him very popular here in Japan with a lot of the public saying that the uh, Japanese Prime Minister has been much too slow in his response to COVID-19. A recent poll showed that 70% of the respondents here in Japan think that J Japan's government has not done a very good job in responding to the pandemic. And we see this as we see record cases of COVID-19 across the country. Country, and especially right. here in Tokyo, Osaka is starting to see its numbers creep up. So there is a lot of tension there. Right. My final question, Grace. Japan, of course, is still going ahead with the Olympics despite a wary public. Uh, a recent poll, in fact, has suggested the same. So will the emergence of this new variant change Japan's plans to hold the Tokyo Games? Well, as you mentioned, the, uh, the Japanese public is becoming more and more concerned about the prospect of holding uh, the Olympic Games this summer. 80 percent, that's an all-time low of respondents mm -hmm. saying that the Olympics should be pushed back further um, or be canceled altogether. But Prime Minister Yoshida Suga recently said uh, when he was announcing the state of emergency for Tokyo, in fact, that the Olympics will still be going ahead and he hopes that the Olympics can be a, a kind of a show of uh, humanity's triumph of over COVID-19, if you will. Uh, now, since then, uh, Olympic... Uh 
IOC member Dick Pound has spoken out saying that there's nothing set in stone here uh, and that they are kind of growing skeptical about holding the games here. So there does seem to be growing concern from the IOC side as well. But from what we know, Japanese officials, uh, especially Prime Minister Yoshida Suga, has been adamant that Japan will still go ahead with the Olympic Games no matter the circumstances. Right. All right, Grace. Thank you so much for all those inputs and thank you for joining us on Beyond.